Hey there. Today I want to talk about one of the greatest investors of all time. His name is Sir John Templeton. And he had this saying that the greatest opportunities, the best opportunities come in times of maximum pessimism. Well, if you're not seeing maximum pessimism right now, I don't know what world you're living in. So let's talk about, is this your Sir John Templeton moment? Let's roll that intro and get right into it. Cryptocurrency, the new asset class. Come join the crypto community. Learn, ask questions, see for yourself. Okay, so who is Sir John Templeton? Uh, well, in this book, uh, Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, uh, he talks about how John grew up in Tennessee here in the U.S., and he was um, witnessing uh, World War II in 1939 when Hitler invaded Poland, when much of the world was paralyzed with fear and thought that the world was coming to an end. This was the time that he thought was best to invest. And he's crazy like that, like us crypto investors, right? Um, you have to be a contrarian. And when 99 people are running this way, you have to be that one person to say, well, is all 99 of these people right? Or is it maybe a head fake, right? So, guy from Tennessee, he's, he's witnessing this and he has $10,000 that he invests in the stock market. Everything that's trading under a dollar, he puts 100 shares in, knowing that financial winners do not last forever. And what follows winter, spring always comes, right? I am very confident this is not financial advice. Everything I say is just my opinion. Um, spring will come spring will come and for crypto i am more resolved than ever that crypto is here to stay and for the last two and a half years people around and the last i say decade people have been calling crypto this uh fake thing now it's a one trillion dollar market and i tell people this at parties and sometimes there's silence all of a sudden. It's like, whoa, one trillion market, huh? One trillion dollars. Okay, so what happens? He, uh, he knew that spring was coming. He knew that eventually when the war ended that the market would recover. And sure enough, in 1945, the U.S. market surged. Okay, so how does that compare to right now? Well, does for the whole crypto space, but specifically my number one pick in this space, XRP, the one I've been following for two and a half years faithfully. Uh, we have witnessed the SEC lawsuit. We saw it go from 70 cents to like 17 cents. We've had uh, exchanges halting trading or delisting in the U.S. We've had FUD about Grayscale. Um, you know, liquidating their XRP investment for now. All sorts of stuff, right? I'm not here to blame people that are getting out of XRP. What I'm saying is that this is my time of maximum pessimism where I am staying in XRP and seeing this thing out. I feel like I've seen too much. I feel like I know too much. Um, is there a guarantee? No. It's a gamble that I'm willing to take because every investment is not a guarantee. One of the things that I come back to that really kind of uh, gives me some comfort in my investment is back in 2019, over-the-counter sales, uh, there was like 250 million XRP sold that quarter, which would amount to about 900 million United States dollar terms and uh, these ripple net home members these collection of banks of, of people that have bought over the counter you don't hear them coming out and saying I'm done with ripple um, they haven't really 
as far as we know, um, they haven't really uh, sold or, or they're still waiting for their real investment to uh, give their returns, right? They're not in this for the short term. And when I see them not asking for uh, a refund because of this lawsuit or um, it gives me confidence that uh, if they can hold, I can hold because I look at myself as a, a uh, hedge fund of one here, you know, a small hedge fund. I try to treat my crypto investments like a business and I don't easily get scared off. Right, because um, we've seen the body of work. This is a global decentralized asset. We're seeing places like the UK coming out this last week and saying um, XRP is not a security. It's a, uh, an exchange token or a, a currency, right? We've heard this from Japan, Singapore. We, we're hearing it all over the world. And it's putting pressure on the U.S., uh in this case i'm sure so it's a it's something that i'm willing to hold and i just want to ask you just for yourself is this your john templeton moment are you willing to look maximum pessimism in the face and say i'm willing to risk this much not over risk not to where you can't sleep risk but i'm willing in the face of 99 people running this way, I'm willing to run the other way because of what I know. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. My instincts and my convictions is a very important part of investing. And that is part of what's keeping me in my XRP investment. I believe my instincts are telling me that XRP is going to stay long term and be a viable solution for the world in cross-border payments, not to mention uh, the decentralized finance through uh, the Flare Network, and also just the XRP ledger itself is such a massive thing that central banks, um, there's positions that Ripple has opened for uh, people to work with central banks to integrate them on the XRP ledger. And how does it get much bigger than that? If the central banks are buying in to the XRP ledger and putting their central bank digital currencies off of it, how is that not a win for XRP at the end of the day, if that happens? So I feel like there's a lot of positioning and jockeying of power and there's a lot of things at play but it's going to take a lot more than delistings and a lawsuit from the SEC which frankly has stood by for eight years and done nothing um, it's going to take a lot more than that to shake me out so uh, anyway I hope that you make the best decision for you but wanted to give you uh, my thoughts of where I'm at and I think that many of us will be in a position to, uh, like Sir John Templeton, take our small amount of money, whatever it is, and build it into a portfolio that, you know, can be very powerful for us in, in certain ways and what we decide to do to make life better in this world. So... Hope you enjoyed that and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.